Hi there, the following video will show us how to work out index notation with non-unit fractions. The last video showed us how to work out index notation with unit fractions, for example 27 to the 1 third. I defined that to you as the cube root of 27 which is equal to 3. This video is going to try and work out for us things like 27 to the 2 thirds where the numerator of the fraction is not the number 1, it's some other number. We're going to try and work this out. Before we get there, I'm going to ask you to consider two things that we know from previous knowledge. Imagine I had the fraction 2 thirds. I could say that was equal to 2 lots of a third, or 2 times a third. And because the order of multiplication is not important, I could write that as a third times 2. Similarly, something like, say, 3 elevenths, I could say that's equal to 3 times 1 over 11, and I could swap the order around and say that's equal to 1 over 11 times 3. So in general, for a fraction a over b, I, can, I want to use this rule, but I can write that as 1 over b multiplied by a. And I'm going to use this rule in a second. OK. Next thing I want you to consider. Do you remember the power of the power rule when it comes to indices? Imagine I took a number a, I raised it to the power of n, and I raised all of that to the power of m. Using the, uh, the power of the power rule, I could say that's equal to a to the power of n multiplied by n. Going backwards, if I had a base number and it was to the power of two numbers multiplied by each other, I could say that actually that was equal to a to the power of the first number and all of that to the power of the second number. So let's go back to 27 to the 2 thirds. I'm going to use this rule here and this rule up here to try and work this out. Now I can write 2 thirds as 1 third times 2. So 27 to the 2 thirds can be written as 27 to the 1 third multiplied by 2. OK, but now I can use the power of the power rule. I can say, using rule 2, this must be equal to 27 to the 1 third, all to the power of 2. Well, 27 to the 1 third is the cube root of 27. And all of this is to the power of 2. The cube root of 27 is 3, so this must be equal to 3 squared, and 3 squared is equal to 9. In general then, if you take any base number and you raise it to a non-unit fraction n over m, the best way to work this out is to first of all take your base number okay, and work out that raised to the unit fraction 1 over m and then evaluate that to the power of n. a to the power of 1 over m is simply the nth root of a and all of this raise it to the power of n. This is the quickest and easiest way to work out index notation with non-unit fractions. Let's do some examples. 64 to the 2 thirds. Best way to work this out is to say, well, what is 64 to the 1 third? And raise that all to the power of 2. 64 to the third. That means the cube root of 64. The cube root of 64 is 4. So this must be equal to 4 squared or 16. 25 to the 3 over 2, that's equal to 25 to the half, all to the power of 3. What does 25 to the half mean? It means the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5, so this must equal 5 cubed, which is 125. 125 to the 2 thirds must be 125 to the 1 third, all to the power of 2. 125 to the third means the cube root of 125, which is 5, so this must equal 5 squared or 25. Example 4, 5 and 6 are exactly like 1, 2 and 3, except for we've got negative indices here. And negative indices mean 1 over. 64 to the minus 2 thirds must be 1 over. 64 to the 2 thirds is 16. This must be 1 over 125. And this last one must be 1 over 25. Thank you.